So I want to give you a quick look at the open altimeter. This is the board. It's small, about 31mm by 16mm, and it's light. It weighs about 3.1 grams without any wires. And um, You can use it in a couple of configurations. The typical configuration would be this, where you have a, a recom switching regulator. This is a very efficient 1-amp switching regulator. And an input from a battery, probably a LiPo. And then an output, so this will power your glider from this switching regulator. Um, it also has an integrated low voltage alarm, so this, this is a 90 decibel sounder, really loud. And it's also a logging altimeter, so um, this little silver chip here is a really sensitive pressure sensor. One of its unique features is it will read out the height of your launch at the field using the beeper. We'll have a look at that later. It's also a lost model alarm as well. So it basically does everything that you could ever want to do in a, in a DLG. Um, you can run it without the regulator. Here's one I've got connected up slightly differently. And so this will just plug into the receiver on a model that's powered by a NIM. You don't have to use the regulator, that's optional. Um, I can show you here, I have one, so this is sitting in a blaster. You can see it's sitting here. And this is a small 3S um, 240 milliamp Hyperion LiPo. And then the output of this goes to power my receiver on the other side. So if I plug it in, you can have a listen to it. It takes a second to boot up and then it introduces itself with a beep. And then those three beeps you heard there were it auto detecting the LiPo, the three cell LiPo. And so there's not much to show you on the bench, but I have it connected up to my transmitter. So this um, servo lead, which is powering the receiver, is also taking a transmitter signal back to the altimeter. And if I, I've got it configured so that if I throw a switch on my transmitter, it activates the lost model alarm. That same switch, it's a three position switch, will also activate the height readout alarm. But to see that in action, we're going to have to go to the field. Okay, so I'm down here at the field and I want to demonstrate the live height readout function to you. So I've got my altimeter connected up to a three position switch on my transmitter here. And when I move that switch to the mid position, it'll beep out the altitude. So let's go and do a few launches and see how we do. Okay, so let's see how we did. So that's 130 feet, so I think I can do better than that. Let's have another go. Right, let's see what we got there. So I flick the switch again. 134, so a bit better. One more go, see how we do. Okay, so back from the field, I've got my trusty blaster. I've already plugged the power in so the open altimeter is running. And so to download the data, we just plug it into the downloading dongle and connect with the software. The software will reboot the altimeter, so we'll hear its little beep. And now the software is getting some information from the altimeter about how many logs we have, so we log 10,000 entries today. And then it's simply a job of hitting altimeter download data. And the altimeter, the downloading software will pull down the data from the altimeter and plot it up on a graph, and from here we can save it out if we want to process it somewhere else.